hello guys good evening once again today i'll actually be talking about um gigabit passive ethernet repeater okay um i will just want to show us a brief um on how this thing is being used uh why it is so important for us as a network engineer or a network technician in data center engineer so basically it is for uh use in a situation whereby we need up to we need more than 100 meter cables of uh, category 5 cat 5 or category 6 network cat 6 so that is where this uh, particular device is actually used so it can be used at um, um, various location it can be used where uh, device needed both indoor and outdoor and it's not that expensive though it's actually cheap to to purchase and uh, we can actually get this device online just check for the name gigabit passive ethernet repeater also known as gper uh, and i bet uh, you get a good value for your money so i've used it once so i said let me share this thing and how to how it is works so let's dive in so this is actually the device it uh it has here um two end we have the input and as the output section of it okay and um it allow current to pass through it and it also has an indicator when the device are connected from one end to the other end okay and uh, it supports um like I said before, current and data can pass through it simultaneously. So that is what uh, this, these three, two things are talking about. Here, we will be talking about the, um, the specification about the device, okay? Um, we'll be talking about the device specification here, where, um, uh the this is the the product code is the uh the name of the product okay and the gigabit ethernet part is just that uh, it has uh both input and output okay and um uh the input supports from 24 volts up to uh 57 volts so if you are using the device hope that is within the range of 24 volts but 8 volts and 57 volts it will accept it and uh, the the other side is that it's just when you connect the device to it at the other side it will pass through and the maximum wattage is 2 watt and the operating temperature is between 40 and 70 uh, Celsius so um another thing I want to look at is this area you can see what this particular uh, chart is trying to tell us is that um, um, the more of a G P E R you use the lesser the version the lesser the current you are you are going to consume from your power bank okay so if you look at this device now see if you are using just one device okay you don't use any voltage but the all you're just going to be using is just a 57 amps that's 0.7 amps and uh, if you are using one of the device you are consuming this voltage and this current and when you are using three you are consuming this voltage you are consuming 39.7 voltage and 39.4 by using four, you are consuming 34.0 uh, voltage and uh, 37.7, so on and so forth. So that is that. So here, what is this 
trying to tell us is that um, we have various type of connection from device one to device two, okay? Normal, this normal standard for a cable connection, okay? Is for us to, okay? Is for us to actually um, uh, use up to 100 meters of cable from one end to another end. That is why we have device one and device two, okay? But if you look at the second scenario, the second scenario is that we have a device and also have a GPER. Then we have another device that is actually connected to it. Okay. So what this one is telling us that uh, from our device to this GPER, we can use a maximum of 100 meters. So because we are not where we are going yet we introduce this gigabit uh, passive ethernet repeater which allows to run another 100 meter or 200 meters to get to where we are actually going so if you look at this device um the third scenario where we have a device and we have we introduce two of these LAN um device okay these are actually been tested on the bench that uh, it actually works the, the, the third scenario now we have uh an 100 meters cable that is actually connected to the um gp ar and within the two gpr we can introduce about 200 meters cable length it will work and from the GPER device to the actual device we want to go, we can actually introduce 100 meters. So with this, with this third scenario now, we we can actually run a cable of 400 meters length to wherever we want to run it to. Okay, so um, if we look at the fourth scenario, there we have a device. Okay. And uh, under that device, we we have an 100 meter connected to the GPER. And here, we can have up to seven of these devices before it gets to the second device. And from the from the from the manual, it says that uh, if we are, if we we are able to connect up to seven of these devices. That means that uh, we will be able to cover about 1.5 kilometers. So that is what that is actually letting us know. So, and if you can see from here, you see that up to seven gigahertz. So sorry, pardon me for that. Say up to seven giga, up to seven GPERs up to 210 meters between each okay as you are connecting each device from one gpr to another you can actually use a maximum of 200 meters with them um one of the best advantage of this thing is that, um you can power current through it currents can pass through it via the PoE out, in and out, okay? And um, it's actually a great tool. It allows us to do many things. Let's move to the next slide and see. So the device comes into two places, in two forms. This one is actually for the outdoor. If you want to install it outside, this is for the outdoor usage, okay? And uh, this is how we can install it outside in our premises whenever uh, uh, we find this still useful we can install it outside and uh, get the best use of it and here this is the indoor type so this just shows us how we can actually use this device indoor okay 
and see how it works. This is just it. Um, this is just uh, a typical example here. It has to. It has an indicate indicator whenever a current are being connected in between these two edges. It has an indicator where when it's connected to a device, and uh, it. If you look at it closely, you see that it has two. Those two corners means that it has an edge, and uh, that is how you you actually get to uh, know uh, if the in end of the device and out output the PoE out uh, the two devices are actually communicating. Without you be able to see that from the um, gigabit passive internet operator with the indicator light. Okay, so that is all I just want to show us uh, today. Uh, I've had this device on my on my list for a while, so I just want to share with us, and maybe we we need a, a simple device that can make her life easier. So I believe this device can actually do justice to that. So um, I want to. Thank you for those that have actually subscribed to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's actually encouraging for me. And um, uh, for those of us who are yet to subscribe, frankly, kindly hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the the alarm bell so that whenever I actually publish new videos like this, you can actually be um, informed and. Uh, be beneficiary uh, to learn new skill or new 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 idea in the world of telecom and networking. Thank you very much for your time and God bless.